hello everyone welcome to my channel i hope you're all having a great day my name is clementine today i'm going to talk about my journey with god walking with god what i thought it would look like versus what it actually looks like so to me let me get to it to me what i thought about the walk with god was that everything is going to be well there will be no suffering there will be no illness there will be it will be a soft life all around there will be no mocking there will be no prosecution there will be no hating like i thought god got everything covered indeed he had he he has everything covered so to me i thought i would not suffer anything i would not go through any in full situation i will not go through anything i'm just gonna live my life pray to god god is gonna take care of everything he is taking care of everything indeed but in his own way according to his plans and purpose for each and every one of us so what what have the reality of working with god like i said when i will see myself experiencing a certain thing that i do not understand i will think maybe god is punishing me or something or maybe i i'm not working correctly or i'm not doing things correctly i'll always want to blame myself put on i, I blame myself a lot so not understanding that life is a journey god has a plan for us and he has everything planned out for us but we are going to go through some times where we're going to so that we can learn we can know about him he is the truth he is the life he is the way we need to know all those things the truth of god through our life through the experiences that we experience through different challenges through different sufferings through different pains we are learning so now I came to a point now that I know that life is a journey and we are learning every situation is not a useless thing it's not just a, a thing it is taking you somewhere it's taking you further every less every situation is a lesson so it does not happen just because it is happening it is happening because it, God is working on you and on your faith and on do you know who God is? Like through everything, do you know who God is? One of the scriptures say that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. So when I read the scripture like this, I know now understand that when I go through afflictions, I should not be worried, I should not be frustrated and and thinking that god is not on my side that, that god is not with me i know that even through those situations like that i know that god is still with me god is still on my side god will never leave my side so i really really get to spend my time reading the word of god a lot and get to understand it that there's a time for every every single thing there's a time for everything it, ca it cannot be at a certain time only there are time there are season and they change you are not going to be at a one stage and stay there for the rest of your life because that is what i thought that i don't have to go through anything i don't have to do anything god is going to take care of anything that i go through there will be you no know, suffering so i thought that I'm going to be at a one season. I will, I will live the rest of my life in one season, not worry, being at peace, not having to do anything, just praying God and praising God. I thought that is what I, I has. That is what I'm going to do. But seasons change. The it's a different season that we find ourselves in, and the, it's not your fault season we're going to go through different seasons no matter what in this life it is not it's nobody's fault it's not your fault we are going to go through different seasons in life so just 
read the word of God, the more you read the word of God, you know that he, he said we should cast all our worries to him. We should cast all our heavy burden to him. So we don't have to go through life with worrying about our life and trying to figure out our life because God has already planned everything out for us. We don't have to figure anything out because everything is already out there. Everything is already done. Everything is already finished. The word of God says that it was good for me to be afflicted so that I can learn your decrees. So it, it, it's times like that that we, we should not live in fear or in doubt but look to God for everything we need to seek his face in everything we need to seek his face first and everything else always follows it always follows so you need to seek God face and everything will be added on to you so you don't have to worry about affliction everything God said everything we should put everything we leave everything on to him he will take care of it God discipline us for our own good so that we can share in his holiness discipline is not pleasant it is painful but at the end it produces a harvest it produces the harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it so God is there, God is there for us, so we should not re let our situation and our emotions put us in, in worry, frustrations, and we need to just keep believing in the word of God, that the word of God will not change, God will not change, so it is what it is. At the end of discipline, there will be a harvest, so we are blessed. We are so blessed in God. God is not going anywhere. He is not going to change. We should praise him. We should be thankful and grateful to him because he has chosen us. He loved us. He, he taught us this unconditional love. He is so peaceful. He never punishes us. He will never punish us. He does not have bad plans for us. He has good plans for our lives. I want to be the good seed then with noble and good heart I want to hear the word of God and retain it I want to persevere so that I can produce a crop when the devils come with these schemes my heart will not fade the devil will not take my weight out of my heart the devil will not take the weight out of my heart. I am a believer. I believe in God. No matter what kind of struggle that I face, I still believe in God. Whether I I don't have anything, I still believe in God. Whether um, I don't eat, I sleep empty stomach, I still believe in God. And my, my belief will not change because of what I go through because I know what God can do. I know that the God, God is the provider. Whether I have or I do not have, I know that I'm always taken care of. I know that God comes through for me in every way. So I trust and believe in God and there is nothing that can take that away from me. And I am so grateful and so thankful that I found God for myself. And so grateful that I'm not going to let him go for any reason. I know that I I have God and I have found a home. I have found peace. When I have God, I have everything that I need in this life. Thank you. So this is it from me. I hope you have a good week. Thank you very much for being here. My name is Clementine. See you on my next one.